Spain's defense ministry said Thursday its first of two planes sent to Beirut to evacuate Spanish civilians had taken off and was heading to an airbase near Madrid. The military plane is carrying some 200 evacuees on board, the ministry said. Spanish Defense Minister Margarita Robles said that between 400 and 500 of the around 1,000 Spaniards registered as living in Lebanon could be airlifted out. The government has urged all Spaniards to leave and is offering to assist those who say they want to be evacuated. A second military plane is expected to leave Lebanon later on Thursday. Robles said that a third plane could be sent if needed. Spain also has 676 soldiers in Lebanon deployed under a United Nations peacekeeping mission. Robles said that the troops are staying put until otherwise ordered by UN command. Russia's defense ministry plans to enlist around 20,000 people currently held in pre-trial detention to fight in Ukraine, the investigative news outlet Important Stories media outlet reported, citing anonymous military and legal sources. According to a military official who spoke to Important Stories, efforts are already underway to identify who among the thousands of defendants awaiting trial might be fit for military service, with 40% expected to be taken. The enlistment plan reportedly involves selecting 100 defendants from each of Russia's 210 pre-trial detention centers. iStories, citing federal prison statistics, noted that 106,000 people were held in pre-trial detention as of early 2024, though that figure includes individuals under investigation and convicted criminals. The reported plan comes a week after federal lawmakers passed legislation allowing criminal defendants to serve in the military, closing a loophole that previously limited enlistment to convicted criminals and suspects under police investigation. Those changes now face a single vote in the Federation Council, after which President Vladimir Putin is expected to sign it into law. Sources told important stories that authorities are targeting criminal defendants to avoid sparking public unrest with a new wave of mobilization. A source close to the military's general staff said the defense ministry turned to criminal defendants after running out of convicted prisoners willing to volunteer for the war in Ukraine. At the same time, according to one of the lawyers, even before the law was passed in Moscow, there was no shortage of people willing 
to sign a contract with the Ministry of Defense in any of the pretrial detention facilities. According to lawyer Dmitry Zakvatov, the penal colony and pretrial detention center are also recruiting people to sign a contract with the Defense Ministry by tightening the conditions of detention. Zakvatov links the active recruitment campaign to the authorities' reluctance to announce a second wave of mobilization, the publication writes. At the same time, there is information that the number of prisoners ready to go to war is decreasing. They say that prisoners are not an endless resource. Therefore, the decision to send defendants to the so-called SVO indicates a decrease in the influx of prisoners to the front. In particular, those convicted under light articles, those who do not have long to do time, are not very eager to go to the front line.